lovely, lovely imps. What if I told you that Ron DeSantis is not just terrible, not just a crazy fascist, but also that he is actively harboring and promoting Nazi ideology from his position. What if I told you? And guess what? If you've already heard a little bit about this, there's new news. So you might have heard about a little bit of this already, but let me tell you, it gets even worse, okay? Let me just, let's just, let's just jump into this, okay? Hold on a second, hold on a second. I wanna show you guys just how bad it got. So for those of you who don't know, we're gonna actually watch this meme real quick. I wanna show you, uh, oh wait, ooh, we, I think it has some copyrighted stuff in it. So we might have to just watch it without audio, but that's okay, we'll enjoy it together. Just a couple of days ago, uh, the Ron DeSantis uh, promotional account known as Ron DeSantis Cams uh, tweeted a a meme video that was promoting Ron DeSantis that contained, and I kid you not, a black sun, also known as the Sonnenrad. Let me just show you guys what this looks like. For those who don't, who for those who aren't familiar with the uh, with this symbol, I'm sure you probably are. It's this symbol right here. This is a Nazi symbol. It is one of the most well-known Nazi symbols um, of all of them. It is pr literally only, the only one that is more well-known is the swastika, okay? It has been universally used uh, by neo-Nazis, uh, by extreme far-righters, by the Klan, etc. It is a Nazi symbol unequivocally. And Ron DeSantis didn't just you didn't just have one of his promotional accounts uh, 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 tweet this. Didn't just have, um, you know, the actual Ron DeSantis campaign video retweet this video. And it wasn't just a frame. Let's just watch the video. Come on, let's see it for ourselves. Check this out, okay? Oh my God! Why is it so loud? Holy shit! Holy shit! It's okay. Jump scare for everybody involved. Oh yeah, we have to turn off the audio because it's playing this. Okay, ready? Here, we'll just watch it without the music. Just imagine, imagine uh, extremely tacky music that doesn't fit very well playing across this. Here's the, oh, look, it's the, the Wojak is watching the Trumps. Let's see it. Oh, oh, you got the Wojaks. Oh, the sad Wojaks looking at Donald Trump. Oh, they're sad because Donald Trump sucks, right? Oh, he's going woke. Oh, Donald Trump going woke. Can we get the sound here for just a second? Oh, now he's happy. Oh my God, now he's happy because, you know, Ron DeSantis is here. Oh, you got the Florida. Oh, oh my God, now the, now the Wojaks are so, oh my God, make America Florida. Oh, here's the tactical Wojak. Oh my God, look at how based it is. Oh my God, he's so based and off space. Oh, Meatball Ron, wow. You ready? You guys ready? Oh yeah, it's, you running up that hill. You running up that road. Da -da 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 -da. And now you have a picture of Ron DeSantis with a bunch of random faceless troops marching towards the seal of the state of Florida. And what's that? We have a whole 10 seconds at the end of this video of a giant black sun with Ron DeSantis's face in the middle of it. And then it all fades out to just show the black sun. Wow. 10 solid seconds. Well, guess what, everybody? Guess what, everybody? DeSantis team fires the aide who secretly made a video with a Nazi symbol. So that's right. It wasn't just a fan video 
that was retweeted by Ron DeSantis that had 10 seconds of an explicitly Nazi symbol with Ro with Ron DeSantis standing in front of the Nazi symbol with an army of, of faceless soldiers marching towards the Nazi symbol. It wasn't just retweeted. It wasn't just shared. It wasn't like it was some 4chan meme. No, it was made by a team member of, of, of Ron DeSantis' campaign. It was his fucking team. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' 2024 campaign fired an aide this week who secretly created and shared a pro-DeSantis video that featured the candidate at the center of a Sonnenrad, an ancient symbol appropriated by the Nazis and still used to this day by some Nazis. Nate Hockman, a speechwriter on the, on the DeSantis campaign and a former writer for the National Review, created the video on his own and shared it through a pro-DeSantis Twitter account, according to a person familiar with the writer. Hotchman then retweeted the video, and it was deleted shortly afterwards. Nate Hotchman is no longer with the campaign, and we will not be commenting on him further, DeSantis campaign official told Axios. Earlier this month, the DeSantis campaign faced black backlash for si for sharing a similar meme-laden video that attacked Trump for being too pro-LGBT, which was it was a homophobic video. We talked about this one before. It was just disgusting. So a speechwriter, a speechwriter for Ron DeSantis' campaign and uh, it got that far, huh? It got all the way up to that level. What does that tell you about the type of people that are being employed by the Ron DeSantis team? And what does that tell you about what is acceptable to the audience that Ron DeSantis is courting? It's pretty interesting, right? It kind of, it's almost like, it's almost like Ron DeSantis is, is, while he still likes to say, I disavow, because, you know, they got to fire the guy because he went too far. It almost is like Ron DeSantis and his entire team and his entire fan base are totally on board with neo-Nazi rhetoric, neo-Nazi images, and neo-Nazi ideology. Kind of ridiculous, right? It's kind of insane the degree uh, to which uh, 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 politics has rapidly flung into the completely insane in recent years. This is the type of shit, by the way, which if this had happened before Trump, it would have been an end. It would have been a literal end to a career. Not even Republicans, the, the, the racist and completely and utterly evil GOP would have let this sort of thing fly. And yet Ron DeSantis is still running for president. Ron DeSantis is still even being considered as a viable candidate for office. Ron DeSantis, after he loses to Trump, almost inevitably, uh, will probably run for president again in a couple of years. Isn't that deranged? An account, a, a, a guy who employed someone who was willing to go to the official accounts and tweet a video with a literal neo-Nazi symbol in it. A, not just a neo-Nazi symbol in it. It wasn't even hidden in it. It was a feature of the video. It was the conclusion of the video is that Ron DeSantis is the embodiment of the Black Sun. Absolutely deranged. What's up with all these Republicans having explicit Nazi connections? Oh man, I can't seem to figure it out. Yeah, interesting. This is DeSantis's Kanye moment. No, it's actually even worse because the thing is, um, Kanye West uh, is is like g he's like generally demented, and he says the most insane things you can imagine. Ron DeSantis is take is a politician currently holding office, and his his account, his staffer putting forward a neo-Nazi hate symbol, a symbol of a literal, of a, uh, a symbol of a regime that was a literal enemy of the United States that perpetuated the most infamous genocide in history. And he's still a governor of, of Florida and he's still running for office. And he's still, uh, it's, it's barely damaged his polling numbers. It's funny too because uh, uh, 
uh, people people have decried the left for alarmism about the normalization of white supremacist and neo-Nazi rhetoric, the normalization of neo-Nazi uh, 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 imagery and neo-Nazi ideological precepts. But the truth is, the left has been right about this all along. The left has been 100% on the money about this. It's only getting worse. Donald Trump had all of his crazy nonsense, his uh, deranged anti-Semitism, his, his, his anti-woke madness, uh, his horrible racism, and it's only getting worse. The GOP is pumping this shit in. They're making this shit acceptable. They're trying to, uh, they're, they're trying to, uh, uh, put literally raw Nazi propaganda out to a broader audience. And sure, Ron DeSantis had to make an apology, but this should be disqualifying. This should be the end of Ron DeSantis. In any sort of sane world where you employing a, a speech writer who ends up going to tweet neo-Nazi propaganda on your account and all on your official account, the place, remember, the place where he announced his presidency on Twitter. So he can't just say, ah, it's just Twitter. He announced his presidency on fucking Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, just just as a reminder of where the American right is at right now. Just a reminder. The the DeSantis campaign knew that he was a neo Nazi and a Fuentes fan before they employed him. Of course they did. Of course they did. Ron DeSantis's entire campaign is running on all of his messaging. Is the it takes the exact same shape. His obsession with uh, with being anti-trans, his obsession with being anti-gay, his obsession with decrying degeneracy, his obsession with decrying the fall of the West, his obsession with wokeness, which is just a new way of him saying, uh, of, of, of dressing up the same old anti-degeneracy talking points. It's all neo-Nazi shit. It really is. It, he's, he's turbo anti-immigrant, turbo racist, turbo anti-gay. employing literal neo-nazis retweeting neo-nazi propaganda in short the the american right needs to be opposed with all of the strength that we can muster there should be uh when it comes to opposing the gop when it oppose when it comes to absolutely choking out and crushing any possible future for Republican politicians in the United States, everyone should be so serious about this. Democrats, liberals, uh, 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 leftists, everyone across the board who isn't a, a GOP member should be in lockstep on completely and utterly removing any power from the hands of these absolute psychos. There should be, this should not even be a possibility. It should not even be a possibility that a presidential campaign retweets, retweets neo-Nazi propaganda to millions of people. That should not be a possibility. That should be something that they are so afraid of happening that they never even come close to ever employing anyone who would do that. We know where this fucking shit goes. We know where this ideology leads. We know how horrible it is. And guess what? We don't need to play fucking nice anymore. These people need to be shut down. They need to be taken out of power in any way that you possibly can. They need to they're, they need to be outmaneuvered. They need to be prevented from, in, 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 from putting in to their uh, genocidal agenda. And it is that. When you're at the point where your accounts, your presidential campaign accounts are retweeting neo-Nazi propaganda, you are the face of genocide. You are the face of a genocidal agenda. C categorically. How much, how much more Nazi do you need to be? How much more genocidal does it need to be when you have a video featuring a, a, a drag queen and a trans flag and a neo-Nazi flag all be being burnt up in the eyes of a desperate, of, of a desperate Wojak only to be saved by the neo-Nazis at the end? How much more blatant does it need to get before people realize exactly who it is that we're fighting against in this country? 
Holy moly. Deranged. Monstrous. Monstrous and terrible. Never ever feel bad about uh, about uh, 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 fighting so hard against the GOP. Never feel bad about saying that the American right wing is completely deranged and off off kilter. Never feel bad about about uh, uh, denouncing these motherfuckers to the end of the earth. Anybody who tries to make you feel like you need to play nice with the GOP, all you need to remember is that a current can a current. Uh, 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 a candidate for for president running for the Republicans, the darling of the establishment Republicans, the guy who's supposed to be the alternative to Donald Trump, just fucking retweeted a a black son in a neo-Nazi propaganda video. Just remember that, okay? Seriously, deranged. Anyway, if you found that compelling and interesting. And you want to follow a channel that uh, that's not going to cut, uh, you know, not going to mince words when it comes to the deranged, uh, uh, deranged behavior of the far right in America. Smack the subscribe button down below. Press like and tell me your thoughts. Let me know what you feel about the fact that Ron DeSantis, the GOP's, uh, uh, the 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 non-Trump GOP's darling candidate, uh, uh, retweeted. Uh, 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 neo-Nazi propaganda. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about the fact uh, that he was employing a neo-Nazi as his speechwriter and he knew that this guy had neo-Nazi roots and he did it anyway and now he's trying to say oopsies. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Anyway, keep hearing the signal.